Hi guys, how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a comparison video between three of my top three favorite wallets. The first one is the Zippy Organizer by Louis Vuitton, obviously. The second one is the traditional Zippy wallet. Okay, this is gonna be, I guess, considered the new model. Um, Cause you know, the vintage one, it's kind of the same shape, but it's, it's, it's different. Anyway, this is the newer model. And then the Eldridge. Okay, I don't know if you know about this little gem, but this one's awesome and uh, it's the Eldridge. Um, okay, so before I get started, I just want to bring your attention to the description of the video where I have a lot of information about the live sales that I do. I do live sales on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All the information is in the description of this video, including my VIP texting group. If you would like to receive text notifications about when I go live and all that, all that good stuff, you can text the word LUX to 877-377-0291. Um, also, basically, if you just go to my website, thatcrazyhandbaglady.com, all of the information that's in that description um, is there, okay? Well, actually, there's probably more detail on my website. So, just go to my website, thatcrazyhandbaglady.com. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so um, these are my, if you know anything about me at all, if you've been following me, watch my live sales, and you know that I always talk about how much I love the zippy wallet style, okay? And um, so the first one that I, of course, learned about was just our tradi the, blah, 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 the traditional zippy. And this one measures um, seven and a half inches wide by four inches tall by about one inch deep, okay? And um, I just, I like the zippy wallets because it just keeps everything contained and all that. Okay, so anyway, and this, the size of this one is gonna be similar to most full-size wallets. Um, because for example, my second favorite style is the Sarah wallet. It's also the same measurements, okay? Now, let me just go over the measurements first and then I'll go over the inside. Now, the Zippy Organizer isn't that much bigger. It is eight inches wide by four and a half inches tall by almost one inch deep. Well, I guess technically, it's, I have 0.75 but I guess technically it's one, so I'm actually gonna change that. I don't know why I put that. I guess I must've been on the wacky tobacco that day because it really is just like one inch deep too. So that was kind of stupid. Oops, one inch deep. Okay, the Eldridge, I actually don't have that one noted in my book, so I'll just tell you really quick. So the Eldridge is almost seven inches deep. It's like six and a half, six and a half-ish inches wide, okay? Um, it looks like it's about the same height though. Yeah, it's also four inches high. So it's the same height as the traditional zippy and then one inch deep. So even though it's just a little bit smaller, I mean, I like it just because if there's any way that I can conserve, you know, like or save space in my bags, I will. Okay. So, so again, the first one that I ever learned about, of course, was the traditional zippies. It's all the way around. Um, you open it up and basically the sides mirror each other. Okay. So you have the slip pocket on the back wall of both sides. And then in front of that, you have four card holders, four card holders here, four card holders here. And you could double them up if you want to, but honestly, for me, eight is plenty. It's actually more than enough. Um, and then you have the organization in front of the card holders, okay? And then you have what I coo, what I coo, what I coo. You have what I call the peekaboo pocket, and it's just a really thin, little pocket here. This is where you'd put like your mad money, your mama money, you put that in there. And then on the other side, you have like an organizational pouch and then you have your uh, zipper pouch, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it, okay? Again, full size wallet, packs a punch, you know, lots of organization, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I would have to say the only thing that, I don't even wanna say that I don't like it, but the only thing that I find that can be kind of annoying is if you don't remember the way that you're opening it, for example, do you open it with the zipper? Wait, sorry. Oh, I need to wax the zipper, it's kind of rough. Okay, if you're opening the wallet with the zipper away from you, then basically you just have to remember what side is your go-to side. You know what I'm saying? Like the cards that you use the most, or at least I do, I put them on one side, and then the ones that I need but I don't get to that often, I have on the other side. But if you don't remember what side is your go-to side, um, and you're not like being intentional about you know, well, I, if I open the wallet when I have the zipper out, then you're gonna be doing this. Like if you're opening the zipper like this with it facing you, then you're gonna have to go, oh wait. And I know that sounds silly, but like I have like a routine, you know, and it's a habit almost. If I know that I'm always reaching to this side, then I know the zipper has to be away from me when I'm opening it. I know that sounds like super like, I don't know, OCD, I guess. But anyway, so there's that. 
And oh, but I was just gonna say, but the way that they're kind of in there, cause you have this piece, okay, you have this piece that bends in and it can kind of get in the way, like when you're putting cards in there, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, just a regular card, it's actually a movie card. But you know, the card, I mean, it fits in there, but see how it's kind of like behind this part? So I'm just saying like, if you're in a hurry, or at least if you're like me, sometimes if like there's a lot of people behind me and I'm rushed, I'm like, eh, eh, you know, and I'm like trying to get out. And so when you try to pull it up, it gets caught on that corner. Okay, see what I'm saying? Now, it's not a big deal if you just take a minute and just calm down. You can just obviously get the get the card out. Okay, this doesn't keep me from liking the Zippy Wallet. It's still my favorite. But I'm just saying that's the only kind of inconvenience that I find with their traditional model. Okay, just again, if you put cards, and really it's on either side because you have that bend, okay, that comes in. And so then when you pull the card out, like I said, it just hits that. And so that to me can be a little inconvenient, okay? Well, then I found out about the Zippy Organizer, okay? And what I like about the Zippy Organizer, um, again, zips all the way around, same kind of zipper pull, and I used to have it in the uh, Daymaker feet. Okay, so what I like about the Organizer is that you open it up, okay, and you've got a huge slip pocket over here, and actually it will fit um, a passport, okay? So if you wanted to use this as a travel wallet, it'll go back there with no problem, you know, still big enough, whatever, okay? And I really didn't use, I have to be honest, whenever I was using this wallet, because I did use this wallet the longest, um, I didn't really use this, okay? If I had, I'm just trying to think, um, I can't really think of a time at all where I ever used this uh, wallet, because I never traveled international when I was using the wallet. But anyway, what I like about it is that you have your six card holders right here. And they are, it's so easy to get in and out of these card holders because there's nothing, it's not bumping anything, okay? Like you just have them right here, you can just pull them right out and they don't get caught up on the corners or anything like that. So it's just, okay, you just got that, it's really easy. So that's the first six card holders. Okay, so then behind that, you can see there's a pin holder. And behind that, you have a slip pocket. Okay, I still have some of my stuff in here. Um, you got a little slip pocket here and then you have your zipper pouch. You guys, when I change wallets, I don't change the change. I don't take the change out of one wallet and put it into the next. I just leave it. I don't care. You know, I just, so this one may, uh, yeah, it has a little bit of change in there, but anyway, I just, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to just be changing, like bringing all the change everywhere. Anyway, so then you have your zipper coin pouch, of course, and then behind the zipper coin pouch, you have your other set of six cards. Okay. So these are the ones like I didn't need to get to that often, you know? And so I'm just trying to think of like some cards. I don't know. Oh, uh, Costco. I mean, I do use it a lot, but not like every week, every day. So it goes back here. And then you have your, your one slip pocket here. So it kind of seems like it has a little less organization than the um, traditional zippy. And I guess it does, cause it doesn't have a peekaboo pocket and it doesn't have two slip pockets, which although you could just consider this your other slip pocket, I guess, I don't know. But for me, it was just, it wasn't so, so much about organization as it was convenience. I just, I like the fact that I could just open it up, boom, and I could just get the cards out really easily what I needed. They didn't get caught up on the corners and that's what I liked about this wallet. Um, I guess kind of a con for this wallet is that, um, you know, it's a little bit bigger and it just seems like, I don't know, I guess I could have waited. <laughs> I have a scale over there. Um, it seems like it might be a little heavier. I don't know. It's not that much bigger. You know, you, you heard me give the measurements. It's only a half inch wider and a half inch taller. It's still one inch deep. So it's really not that much different, you know? Okay, so then, during one of my live sales, um, I got in this little gem, the Eldridge. And it's also a zipper on wallet, and you heard me give the measurement, what did I say it was? Six inches, six inches wide? See, now I don't even remember. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Six and a half, okay, yeah. So it's actually a half inch shorter than the traditional. But it zips all the way around. For, uh, one thing, because it's Vernie, it, it was during um, all those bags, the Vernie bags that had these little padlock zipper pulls, and I really like those. And I, I'm pretty sure that the Eldridge was only available in Vernie finishes. I don't believe it was ever circulated with, uh, uh, what do you call it, canvas, monogram and stuff. Okay, but what I like about it is you open it up, and it's kind of the same thing as the organizer, except it, it's like a compact version of the organizer, because you open it up, You've got all your card holders over here, and then you have a little slip pocket right here. So see, I don't need to get my Costco that much, so I just put my little Costco card right there. And then behind he, behind that, in the main part, I guess, well, not the main part, but this back part, you have your zipper coin pouch, 
okay, right here. <laughs> so there's your zipper coin pouch right there. And then behind that, you have an organization uh, area right here. And then you have like a back slip pocket. And this back slip pocket, y'all aren't even think I need most of this crap. I have my little bar. Well, I do have another like a little, I'm an educator, okay? I'm a homeschool mom. I'm an educator. So I keep that card for Barnes & Noble back here. Uh, just kind of stuff I don't need, you know, or need to get to a lot. I just put it back there. And then I have this part here. Um, and so this wallet is amazing because again, you could, this is the, this is the size of wallet that if you are trying to downsize for the purpose of maybe taking a smaller bag on a vacation or a mom's night out, then you don't really need to downsize your wallet because it's already kind of like compactish, you know, it's already a little bit small and you don't have to worry about, okay, well, I just need this, this, and this, and then I can leave the rest. Like you don't need to do that. You can just transfer the wallet from bag to bag, whether you use a big mama, you know, um, right now I'm using, oh, let me just get it really quick. Okay, so whether you're using, you know, a big mama like the Celea MM, or if you're just using something small, like, oh, I don't even have anything out here right now. Okay, here, a Speedy 25. I mean, it's the perfect size wallet for either, okay? And it saves, because um, you know, obviously the bigger the bag, the heavier it is and you know, whatever, especially depending on the material. Um, of the bag, if it's like a Suhali or something that's a little heavier, um, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just light and small, but it still packs a punch. Now, I will tell you, the card back here, the very top card is the one that does, that can get hung up on the corner, okay? So just like the in the traditional zippy, how it'll do that, this one will do that on that back one. So I just put a card back here that I don't need to get to that often, but I don't need to put it over here. You know, I still carry, you know, have everything separated. And, and you just have like this front pocket is actually like a little, it's not a true pocket. It's kind of like a slip, you know, it goes like this. And I just have like my ID in there and then my cards right here. Okay. And so, yeah, that's the only one. But other than that, like it's really, it's easy to get in and out of. And again, my main thing is just that it's just kind of compact. I don't consider it a compact wallet because everything that I carry in this wallet, I also carried in my organizer. <laughs> I think the only thing that was probably different about the organizer is that I'm like a receipt junkie. So I have all these receipts in here and this one you can just like pack up, you know. But again, if you're trying to downsize for a vacation or a getaway or whatever, and you're going to a smaller bag, you may not want to carry this big mama wallet right here. You may just want to, you know, downsize to a compact. So again, this one, the Eldridge, is the best of both worlds. So anyway, um, several people have seen this wallet in some of my other videos and were asking about it. So I did have a couple people comment on some other videos asking if I would do a review on it. And I thought, you know what? I actually have all three right now. Um, and so I thought I would just do a comparison. So again, um, this is the organizer. It's not super bonky. This is the traditional size, okay? And you put them side to side, you can tell, you can see that little half inch on both sides. And then you've got your little, your little Eldridge right here. See, and this is kind of, but they all are one in, well, this one, okay, fine. The Eldridge may not be as deep as the other two. You can see it's just a teeny bit. I mean, I would say what, a quarter inch maybe, but that's about it. But anyway, okay, so I hope that was helpful. And again, if you'll go to my website, thatcrazyhandbaglady.com, you can get all the information about my live sales, what I have available, blah, 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 all that stuff. Join my VIP texting group and all those all those things and then um, there was all, oh yeah if you will also subscribe to my channel and then turn on your notifications and that way you'll get a little ding every time mama posts a video okay so I'll be talking to y'all real soon okay bye